This, huh? He said, dude, I can't, man. Hold on, wait, wait. Hey, mother. Dude, this is Coogan Cassius, man. Right? That's cool. And, and, wait, 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 wait. Let's see if you can get the whole title. So okay. Listen, Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association <laughs> with MGM Marbella. Okay, so Coogan Cassius, IFL TV in association, association with MGM, MGM Marbella. 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 Ready? Go, roll. Go. Damn. That is not easy. Go. Okay. This, it's like, no. All right. <clears throat> This is Coogan Cassius, bitch. It's like, no, we're going to do it over. We're going to start. Go, go, go. It's still running. It's still running. No. Run. Run. Why did you got to have your back turned? What the hell are you trying to do? Yeah. Oh. Go. All right. This is Coogan Cassius at IFL TV, and you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you fucking bastard. You can't see what happened. That's why I was like. You can't see what happened now. Yo, when a hemorrhoid fell out, <laughs> <laughs> what a hemorrhoid fell out of that motherfucker's head, y'all. Hey, y'all ready? <laughs> hold on, hold on. That was nasty. That was disgusting. He fucked me over, y'all. I was about to finish it, too. Right, go on. All right, all right. Nail it now. All right, all right, all right. Oh. This is Coogan Cassius at IFL TV in association with MGM. What the hell was that Mar-Bell, called? My bail. God damn it. Ah, I was so close. I was so close. I had that shit, man. So My bell. Okay, I got to remember that. Yeah, well. This is Coogan Cassius at IFL TV in association with MGM Marbell. Bam, motherfucker. My name is Bloody Eddie Chambers. How are you doing? <laughs> is that no, is it, what the hell kind of accent was that? Yes, sir. <laughs> this is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MGM Marbell. We're at the Team Fury gym here in Bolton with me. Not fat boy anymore. No. Lean, trim. Diesel. What's that mean? What? What does that mean? Diesel, diesel, that means I'm strong, like a diesel, like a truck. Diesel, you know what I'm saying? Diesel's also a type of drug. Oh, shit. Oh. Well, that means I put I, I put people in, on drugs and shit, man. I, when I hit them, they look like they on drugs. That's how diesel I am, baby. <laughs> right? Y'all like that, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know what? Everyone says you're a nice guy. Right. Very, Too nice. Okay, not necessarily. Too nice. Forget your ring stuff. I'm on about outside the ring. They reckon you're too nice. But on Twitter, you're a bit of a, you're a loudmouth on Twitter. I wouldn't say a loudmouth. I just say I'm a realist. I try to be as honest as I can. Yeah. You know what I mean? I see a lot of people saying little things like, oh, what you've done lately. And it's like, when you look at my career in uh, the last, uh, you know, before I came to the UK, in the last, what, four or five years before that, right? You cannot name a easy fight, really, that I've had. I mean, a fight that wasn't. Uh, uh, an eliminator or something on the line, like a 12-round fight. The, I think I only had like maybe one 10-round fight or two 10-round fights in the past six, five, six years. Everything else was 12s. And then on top of that, I'm not really getting the kind of money for them. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm fighting 12-round fights against top-level competition and getting paid like I'm fighting a six-rounder. Is that you know what I'm saying? Like, is that fair? And then people, and then you want to say they're gonna start running their mouth and talk about how uh, Eddie Chambers is. Eddie Chambers ain't doing that. He's a. I used to. You used to be one of my one of my favorites, but now all you do is talk shit and fight bums. I'm like, listen, man, give me a couple fights before you get. You know what I mean? I mean, I had only three fights since I've been in the UK. Yeah, they were back to back to back, and I did what I was supposed to do with those level of fighters, right? So give me an opportunity to fight somebody that you know what I mean that they they rate that they recognize. And then you can, you know, if I don't do well or if, you know, it's an average win or whatever because I expect to win no matter what, then you can call me a bum and fat and all that shit. But you ain't going to be able to call me as fat as you used to call me because I'm not. Right? Correct. Do right. uh-huh. you know what? I don't even know what the fucking question was. You just went off on one there. I don't, I don't even know. What, I, what did I actually ask you? I don't even remember. I'm fucking, hey, listen, I get hit in the head, so, you know, what happens? Shit. Okay. But because, because you're... You're here now, and you're going to be linked with every British heavyweight going. I mean, I saw some a press release about Anthony Joshua uh, yeah, yeah. recently. Um, I don't think that's. I think that fight's been made on social media, where well, people have been <laughs> suggesting it on social media. Uh, is that something that does interest you? I mean, obviously, Anthony Joshua has a has a great a future ahead of him. That's not to y'all, that's to somebody in the background because they're talking shit. But anyway, <laughs> Anthony Joshua, I think, you know, being a little bit gold medalist, looking at him early in his career, he's done some good things. 
but he's not ready to step up to the level to fight me at this point. You know what I mean? But if they decided they want to, I'm all for it. You know what I mean? I'll, you know, I'll, I'll definitely, <laughs> I'll definitely get a kick his butt if he want me to. It's not a problem. You know what I mean? But like I do, I do respect what they've done with him and how they've, you know, taken his career, to, you know, piece by piece and put him in there with good names that were good for him to look good against. So that's good. That's that's what you're supposed to do. You know what I mean? But fuck off. <laughs> that was Asu Valley there. Um, they can't See? hear it because it's on a mic. They can't hear what you're saying. You can't hear come, it. In, come, 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 come in, come in, come in. Come in and talk that shit. Come Get in. right in front of me and say that. Okay, look, I was playing. Take, take the fight. What's wrong with you? You keep saying you're the best. You take the Joshua fight. Hey, listen. I, I will take the fight, but it's just so scary. Scary for him or scary for you? I think oh, you're well, scared. For him, man. For me, I ain't. Take the fight. Why are you taking it? We can do that. Take the fight then. I will take the fight. Right. But the, the fight, no one's offered the fight yet. So. Exactly. Well, let's get it offered. Listen, we need to talk figures yes. before we're offered a fight. Yes, yeah, you got on that set? You with him now? You don't, know he, new, he, you don't know his new manager is? Yes. He's the chicken. He's the chicken. I'm the chicken. He's the chicken. I eat chicken, motherfucker, but I ain't no chicken. Do I look like it? Right, well. I'm for my mate, Eddie. <laughs> and you can be the man in the middle. You can get commission both ways. Oh, so we, what, we fight? Or, oh, you're talking about him and John. See how he avoids it? He should take the fight. He avoids it. He'd fight anyone. He should take the fight. He'd fight anyone. It's a great fight for Anton. It's a great fight for him. And the British probably won it. Let's take it. All right, but like I said, I don't think the fight's been offered. So sure uh, it's, I, I said it's been made on social media. All right, this is, the, this is me. I'm being honest. He's got nine fights. He's done well to get to, get to where he is. But he only has nine fights. I don't give a damn if he won an Olympic gold medal. You know what I mean? It's it's not like you gotta give him credit for winning that gold medal. Oh, now listen, you gotta give him the credit for winning the gold medal, and he's up to the mark. He should or take it. Not hearing me, I am giving him credit for winning the gold medal. I'm saying I don't care if he's won a gold medal. That experience is in the amateurs. Now, yes, that prepares you for the pros, and he is good. He's a good young young prospect, but he's still a prospect. He needs to be able to move to contender status, and he needs to do it at the right pace. I mean, look, I, I see what they're doing. I see what this promoter is doing, that, and they're good and they're smart, and that's what they should do. They can, you know, entertain all that, you know, let's call or let's uh, talk about Eddie Chambers and that, or, or people, you know. So what? Th they know what's best. If the fight got offered, would you take it? Absolutely would take it. I would take any fight that of, that, of that magnitude, any fight. That's a great fight for Anthony Joshua, and it's a great fight for you. He beats you. He's the real deal. If you beat him, you don't go in the right direction. There you go. Yeah, you're absolutely 100 percent right. <laughs> He's 100 percent right. All right. Thanks for your thoughts, Sasha Valley. Get, Valley. Man, we get the fuck out of here. Mess up all yeah. Have you seen a lilt? Why are you plugging lilt? Have you not better? You not seen You should a be. Lilt? You should be plugging uh, Cobra Beer. <laughs> 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 oh, Oi, I can say that shit. We from the same continent, motherfucker. I can say that shit. It's not racist because I'm from the same continent as this motherfucker. The plane, the plane, here's the plane. Now that is racist. The plane. Odd oh, job. You're out. My Indian brother, Kudafis. I'm not Indian. Thank you. Oh, I'm half everything, man. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Um, okay, well, listen, thanks for your thoughts on that. Okay. Moving forward now, you're out in action, Blue Water in Kent. Have you been to Kent before? No, no, this is my first time. It's the Garden of England. Yeah? That's what Kent is, the Garden of England. Well, I'm going to have a good time in the Garden of England. Well, you know, I hope to. Yeah. yeah. I live about 20 minutes away from there. Oh, is that right? If you want to come around mine after. Hey, man. A couple of drinks. Absolutely. Sofa. Yeah. Well, Love actually. Oh, God <laughs> damn, man. Hey, man, don't listen to this shit, man. I have, I have nothing to do with nothing to do with this. No, but um, yeah, no, I, I definitely I'm, I'm looking forward to coming down there and uh, having a good fight. You know, the guy I'm fighting once again, like we talking all this Anthony Joshua and all these guys in the future. I got a fight coming next Saturday, and there's no way on earth I'm gonna overlook anyone. I don't give a damn if their record was zero in a hundred. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go in this fight with the attitude of fighting a world champion and that's how you got to do it and that's why you have good you know top level performances do you know who your opponent is his name is Marcelo Luis Nascimento 
the I know exactly who that is. Yeah, I didn't know you were fighting him, but I know exactly who that is. Yeah, we were actually scheduled to fight. Yeah, meant to fight times. Times. Yeah, we a couple of times, and once in July, when when that bill fell apart for us anyway, and um, then I was supposed to fight him actually uh, this month, and then also it was just things happened with that with that card and went went, went away. So we're gonna just do it um, on the eighth. What do you have to do to earn yourself a well title shot, in your opinion? Honestly, looking at the the, the picture the way it is in the heavyweight division, there's a lot of a lot of guys up there. You know what I mean? So a guy like myself just have to stay busy and hope that one of them slip up. And obviously, we're gonna put put ourselves in position by just continuing to win, continue to win, continue to win, and staying active as well. You're gonna have to get. They're gonna have to rate me then. And once they start to, once they rate you, once they rate you, then some of these guys have to fight or they lose their position. And either way, I'm still going up. You know what I mean? I think that's the way. Or one of these guys just may look at me and say, "He ain't all that." And then and let me let me take him, wipe him out, and then you know I earn that respect. And then they'll think I deserve a title shot or whatever after that. Then that's my opportunity there. So I'd, I'd rather have one of those because it's quicker. But I'll take whatever whatever comes to me at this point. I still like the Chambers Harrison fight. I mean, okay. I like that fight. You do? I mean, wh where's oddly um, rated? I mean, if is he rated like, is he gonna put me in position? I mean, he'll get me. You know what? It's cool. He'll get me the British extra British attention and fans, and that's great. But I'm trying to get titles. You know what I mean? I want to go to the top. I ain't trying to mess around with dudes just hanging around for the sport to come get a couple of dollars. I'm 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 seriously trying to win a world championship and get money that way. Because that's the money that will last. A little bullshit money when you're sitting around talking about, oh, fight him and, and pack a, a, a little arena with a full of people that, that hate, or, you know what I mean? You know, that they, they, can't, they can't stand one or the other, you know what I mean? That's, so what? I want to pack an arena of people that, that want to see a real live fight against a top, a top level fight. Like me fighting, like when I fought Vladimir, 50,000 plus people in the, um, in the stadium. I'd rather have that kind of a fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm gonna get something like that right away but it'll take time to get there. And the only kind of fights I want are fights that are going to get me there. I just don't think that fight will. But if he wants to get in there, you can get in there. I'll take him out. It's not a problem. I just saw a little horrible side to you then. Really? Yeah. I thought that was very nice, the way I was talking there. I just saw a side I didn't like, Edward, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. I didn't like that side to you. I asked for it. Be careful what, for yes, what you wish for. See what I mean? I'm not arrogant. Horrible Not bastard. No, but you seem a little bit of an horrible bastard, as we'd say. Yeah. We spoke, you spoke to James for the Cassius and Hilda show earlier on about your uh, poor English accent. It was very poor. And uh, you said you couldn't curse on the, 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 the TV show. But this is Eiffel TV, so you can say what you want. So what was, what was the English terminology that you was going to say? All I was going to say was, you know, like, fuck off. But I was going to say it in the English. Ooh, vicious. Hard. Tell, tell Peter to fuck off. No, I ain't English, that. English style. He, 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 he got to work me out tomorrow. What the hell? I can't say that. I'll tell young Peter to fuck off. How about that? He is not here. He won't hurt me. I hope. <laughs> Where the hell is Peter at? All right. <clears throat> Peter, fuck off, you fucking cunt. <laughs> what, what was the last bit? Sit down. Fucking cunt. You too, you fucking cunt. Oh. Sweeney, get in here. Sweeney, come in here. Move up. Yeah, you too, you <laughs> fucking cunt. Is it, is it a bit... Did you go Irish at the end? Huh? Did you go Irish at the end? I have no idea. Did he go Irish at the end? It seemed a bit of Irish at the it end. Was, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. tiny bit. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let's do this thing. Right. Give him something to say in your, <laughs> in your accent, and then let's see how he does. I Michael. Do I think I can do it, Michael. Um, je m'appelle, uh, no, 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 no. Michal Maxivina. It's Irish. Oh, sorry. You want to do it in English, yeah? Yeah. That, 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 that dumb me up as well. I have no yeah. Idea. It's more the accent we want to focus on. Put the bags and the chips and it'll be at your cunt. There you go. Oh, what you there you go. Put, the, put the chips, put the chips in the bag or it'll kill your cunt. What the fuck? No, I can't. Well, try again. Try again. I gotta think. You know, sometimes your brain just don't grasp the shit. You know, it's it's hard. Damn, put the chips in the bag, bitch. Okay, all right, hold up. Um, put the chips in the bag 
and and pay your cunt. And pay your cunt. Your cunt. Your fucking cunt. All right. It's all right. Doesn't matter. We can put this. We can, this is internet, so we can yeah. curse. Mom and dad and shit. No, no fuck not beeping. With. Say what you want. No. Okay. <laughs> put the fucking chips in a bag, you fucking cunt. Right? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, very good. Now, Sweeney, do your American accent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give him something to say. Give him something to say. Oh. Um. Sorry about that. That cut off. Where were we? Who was doing the accent? He Jim was doing Bolton. the accent. And Peter Fear is Jim Bolton. Sorry, we are. But this is a continuation <laughs> yeah, of the of the last video. We? Oh, we, yeah. Where were we in conversation? Oh, okay. Sweeney's had a hard few rounds today. Um, <laughs> what rounds? <laughs> no, I don't want rounds. Definitely. Save it for Tim's. Save it for Tim's. Um, <laughs> come on. What you got? Oh, Go on, you're going to say something. I said, say. No, man, I can't say that. Uh, Keep it clean, yeah? Keep it country. Okay, country. Keep it country, you know, like like that that you no, know, you can't do that shit. That's that's like a that's a little extra. Well, okay. you want that uh, West Virginia or that down south action, you know that shit. Okay. Like country, like you know that country shit. You don't want that. So I'm gonna give you a regular my accent to use, all right? But it is a little bit of blackness. Eddie, you got, Eddie, you know? Eddie, just give him a fucking line. His time is running Come out. on, just give him a fucking line. I'll give him a fucking line, you fucking cunt. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Uh, I say. So just say, just say, what's up, bitch? What's up, bitch? You just done that in your normal accent. God, no, it, it real. say, say, say it. You gotta say it with that American black man swagger. Come on, let me hear it. You can take a deep so breath. What a bitch? <laughs> black, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. All right, I'm gonna give you. Some, <laughs> come on, give him a proper line. No, well you get, hey man, all you gotta do is say anything. You can say anything. Right. Yo, Eddie Chambers be a crazy motherfucker. Whoa, Eddie Chambers being a crazy motherfucker. You can't get rid of that boy. Yeah. Accent for shit. He can't do it, yo. He's out there taking a while. Nah, like I can hear. Don't wanna get it, yo. <laughs> I know you don't. No, because when you, you go to the state, you, you know, let that shit down. Especially you go to Bo uh, Boston. Oh man, he be. In, yeah. We have a good time over there, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Not on camera, anyway. Right. But anyway, what? Okay. What, uh, else? what else? You want, man? No, nothing. While you're here, you hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm? Um, everything going well for the fifteenth of November in Dublin? Yeah, everything going tremendously well. Uh, been tough for the past couple of weeks with Peter, but all good. Yeah. Brilliant. Do you want to ask him anything? Do you want to be me for a second? And do you want to ask him something? No. 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 Okay, okay, fuck off then. Um, <laughs> fucking telling me to fuck off, you fucking bastard. Yeah. You <laughs> um, obviously, the press conference in Dublin between you and Tim's, we obviously all aware of what happened there. Are you expecting uh, something similar or to get heated up in the week of the fight? Um, these things will happen sometimes at, at a press conference, but um, yeah, possible. But if, if he wants that way, yeah, it's no problem. But um, I'm mostly concentrating on the fight, really, you know. Michael, how, how much can we take into the, the fast fight between the two of you going into this fight? Yeah, look, it's changed completely. Um, you know, things didn't go well on the first fight with me. He says the same thing about himself. So um, it's down to this fight you now, really, that the, the big change is in, and it's on my behalf. So uh, I'm a lot better this time around than last time. And how's camp been? Yeah. Well, I was going to say people like this, but... He's yeah. not in camp. Uh, sorry, no. He's not. <laughs> oh, see you. Uh, training in Team Fury Gym here in Bolton. Yeah, brilliant. You know, you have all the guys of Eddie Chambers, uh, obviously Tyson and Huey and Young Huey, and brilliant. Um, you know, all work rubbing off each other's shoulders, and we're working together, and we push each other on. Uh, so yeah, it's it's been fabulous. It's been an honour, privilege to be here to be training, and I thank Peter for that for having me here. You know. Okay, well, listen, we'll be obviously in Dublin, me and James, uh, leading up to the 15th, so I'm sure we'll catch up with you nearer then. No problem. We're looking forward to see you. Yeah. Right. You I'm not. Fuck him. Yeah. It's not very really nice, is it? <laughs> nah, he's cheeky, cheeky. No, I'm about him. Oh, okay. Hey, you either. Yeah, I ain't even fuck you too. Well, I mean, but no, I was talking about him. Oh, yeah. But now I'm talking to you. <laughs> Give me this goddamn microphone. I'm the one that's running this shit in here. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not.
Eddie found, it, he found his voice box. <laughs> Shut him up. Right, listen, Eddie Chambers, thanks for talking to IFL TV. Uh, we got the fun Eddie, the horrible Eddie, and the f stupid Eddie. What else? You want to add anything? The good, the bad, and the ugly. You all get the ugly, but, you know, the, the good and the bad. Oh, that's, not, that's, that's a bit harsh on yourself. A bit harsh on yourself. And, uh, you know. Mr. Sweeney, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV as well. Thank you to Asif Valley as well, making a little cameo appearance on this interview. Fuck him too. Oh, did he hear that? Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pass. Me. Who's gonna pay me now for being, doing this? We're doing shit for free, man. You're fighting for free on the fifteenth. We're doing this interview for free on the fifteenth. Eddie's fighting for free on the eighth. It's, it's all for the love. We're getting paid for this, no? Yeah. As if that's not fair, man. <laughs> I'm doing more. That's it. Done. Quit, done. Bitch. That's what happens when you don't pay these people. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just fuck off. Um, all right, well, listen. This was your interview originally, so do you have any closing words to any heavyweight out there? Really? To all of them, you know what I mean? You know, good luck in your future until you fight me. If you fight me, that's your ass, baby. That's what. What the hell? Oh, that's. Oh. That's nice. This is what it's about. This is what you couldn't say earlier. Well, don't give me. I'm sorry, mother. Like, I didn't now, understand. Big, I couldn't understand that fucked up accent right, you got. Right, I'm, right. I'm joking. I love your right, accent, right. Now man. It's big, great. Now pick the gym up. Go on. Okay. Let me read that shit real quick. MGM. There it is. Because I'm slow and stupid. So, yeah, just say the same thing or just. Oh, yeah, uh, just no, 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 fuck you. I'm going to say MGM. Go you going to put it out. Am I dyslexic? <laughs> what the fuck? No disrespect to the dyslexic. That is no joke. Seriously. You're, you're, you're taking a hold of you. Go. Go. Read it out. All right. This, not me, goddamn it. This is Kook and Cassius at IFL TV in association with M G M Marbella. Right? That's good. Damn, I was. Don't I sound like a smarter guy? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh my God, I'd have to put a, sen a sensor warning. You really have to. At this. All right, well, this has been Coogan Cashes with Eddie Chambers for Eiffel TV. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll speak to you soon. I'm off. So, uh, say whatever you want, and we won't cut it out, I promise. You know, um, I was supposed to say something real exciting and shit, but hell no. If I sing, I'm going to lose fans if I start singing and shit. Uh, well, you know, I just say... I don't even know what the fuck to say, to be honest with you. I already said enough. I just said so much shit that I don't even know to start with this one. So I guess I'm going to say I'm out.